tuning into my channel. I can't wait to share with you my room transformation. We finally finished our master bedroom. We did a total remodel of the room and I can't wait to share with you what we did. We went with the boho theme, which I am absolutely in love with that design. And I can't wait to share with you my thoughts behind the concepts and the pieces that I placed in the room. So we had this bedroom set for over 10 years. So this renovation was long overdue. So we replaced the flooring in three of the rooms, including the master bedroom. And I just absolutely love how the flooring just ended up matching up with the design concept that uh, we decided to go with in here. Um, I love the distressed look of the bedroom set that we have. We upgraded to a king, so it accommodates both of us comfortably now. And it's just, I don't know, it's just very pleasing to the eye. Now, I'm a person that I enjoy lots and lots of pillows. I like to see the beds made. And um, we decided to go with the gray, cream, and white concept because it's feminine and it's also, also masculine at the same time. So I definitely wanted to incorporate um, both of us in this space because we're sharing it together. And instead of using lamps, I decided to use plants in this area instead. I didn't want a lamp to be bulky in this space and we have recessed lighting over our bed anyway. So a lamp was unnecessary. And plus with the Bohemian uh, concept, natural plants are always um, a must in the, you, when you're doing this design concept. Now these pieces I already had, I picked them up from Kirkland's um, and I'm talking about the uh, smaller square pieces. I like the fact that they have a really unique design on them and they're both different. The picture in the middle will be replaced uh, very soon, but for now it works perfectly in this space. Roddy's bed is tucked neatly away under that leopard blanket. I think it looks really nice. And I love um, how this came together. This is just a simple, small piece that's on the wall above a very vibrant palm. And that's another thing you don't, well, for me, I didn't want to, you know, make this space really, really busy because I wanted to keep in mind that it's supposed to be a calm and just pleasant atmosphere i didn't want it to look too cluttered or too busy so that's why i chose that small piece now i absolutely love lanterns you'll see them throughout my home i got this bench re recently from amazon and i got this distressed bohemian uh, runner from amazon as well um, i picked the tray up from uh, home goods and this is where i keep all my um, scent pieces and this plant in the tray is actually a faux plant and I picked it up from Walmart. It looks real, doesn't it? <laughs> There's another beautiful lantern. I absolutely love them and the design on the rug works really well in this area and you'll notice that I have different patterns going on in this room. That's another part of the bohemian um, aesthetics. Now, I made those two pieces on the wall. Um, they were really simple and easy to do. I will do a video um, showing you guys how to make these pieces, but it was really simple. And it didn't cost me a lot of money. Now, we painted this picture together um, with the Bohemian um, concept. You do include a personal piece um, from the both of you, and um, that was the piece that I decided to include. Um, now I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't a huge fan of this big TV, but my husband really wanted it. And I think it looks great in this space. I thought it was going to be too much, but it looks great. And, and, and we both enjoy just laying in the bed and watching TV. Um, now it was his idea to put this mirror on the wall and I think it works perfectly, um, right here in this space, it just gives me a sense of having a uh, window in this area and it opens the space up and makes it more vibrant. 
I may end up changing out those wreaths that you see on the wall right there, but for now, I think it works perfectly. And it makes up for the fact that we only have one um, window in the room. Right before bed, we both enjoy having a cup of tea. He loves ginger and I love the dessert teas. So these were perfect to have the little sands in the room. They just make it so much easier to enjoy a nice little beverage before going to sleep. process behind decorating my room was I wanted to recreate a space that we both enjoy. Uh, we love to travel together and these are some photos from a recent trip that we took and we just enjoy just a tropical calm environment so I think the boho theme was perfect for the both of us. It represents peace, tranquility and then I can just be my fun self by blending all these prints and colors and patterns together. So much for watching i hope you got to say hello in that comment section i love chatting with you guys and i just want to say i appreciate each and every one of you and i can't wait to talk to you again soon bye <laughs>